How do we get ice spy bottle? Shh, we're playing spies. We're making ice spy bottles. What's an ice spy bottle? It's a bottle where you spy things. We're going to show you how to make one so you can play too. First, we're going to make colorful rice. You're going to first need a plastic bag. We put in four to five pumps of hand sanitizer. I want to make my rice red. I'm making mine blue. Then put in four to five drops of food coloring. And then you're going to put a cup of rice. And just put one cup. And you need to zip your bag. And then you're going to put that rice and just swish it. Just really nice. It feels so mushy. <laughs> Machine, 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 machine. Mine is all red now. Mine is blue. And then you need to dry your rice, which will probably take an hour. You could just pour it into a bowl. This is the rice that we made earlier, and now it's dry, and now we're ready to make our ice spy bottle. And this bottle was old and recycled from sweet tea. So we're gonna have a clear bottle, a funnel, and here are some objects. So we're gonna get a scoop in the red. And the funnel makes the rice go through it, so then the rice will go into the bottle. Find some items to put inside the bottle. Here's some that we found. A paper clip, some candlesticks, some flowers. I added a blue ball. Okay, and now we're gonna write down what we just put on. We're gonna write things down so we can find them later. So now we're gonna get another scoop. So now we're gonna get the blue. This is going to be nice and colorful. So I'm going to put in the dice, and he's just going to put in the skateboard. I'm going to put in like the red rice, and then an object, and then the blue rice, and then an object, and then a green rice, and an object, and I just repeat it and repeat it until it's full enough. Okay, so now we're gonna put in the object. So I'm going to put in the guitar and Daniel's going to put in... A whistle. The whistle. The whistle. Okay, so now to finish our rainbow. Now I'm going to put the cap on. Whistle. Now I'm going to shake it up so I can find the objects. I found the guitar. And that's how you make an ice spy bottle. Shake it, shake it, shake it! Boom, boom, boom! We made shakers. Let us show you how to make one so you can play too. First, you need some recycled bottles. You can use glass or plastic, but make sure to clean out the bottle and it's all dry. Then you could fill your bottle with whatever you want. Different stuff will make different sounds. We have some beans, beads, rice, and pasta. Now I'm not gonna put too much because I don't want such a heavy sound. Let's try this out. Ooh, that's nice. I like that a lot. I'm gonna add some little beads so it doesn't make a, a boom, a boom, a boom. <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm gonna put some of this nice pretty tinsel in the inside of my bottle. Do you think the tinsel will change the sound? Maybe. 
I'm gonna add some blue and silver ribbon. Big tip, don't fill it up all the way to the top because you want room for the things inside to shake. And then you put your cap on and seal it tight. And then you can decorate the outside too. I'm gonna use some stars and smiley faces just to make it bling. I'm gonna use some of these star stickers. Yeah, these stickers are pretty. You can decorate it really any way you want. You can use ribbon, you could use duct tape. And that's how you make a shaker! How to make sand art. We're making beautiful sand art today. We're gonna show you how to do it so you can play too. First, you need a plastic bag, a piece of sidewalk chalk, and some salt. Pour about a cup of salt into your bag. Now you'll need some chalk. Pick the color you want and put that piece of chalk in the bag too. Then you zip it back up and then rub. Rub the salt and chalk together. The salt is scratchy on the chalk. It causes the chalk to break apart in teeny tiny pieces. Those little pieces mixed with the salt becomes your sand. The more you rub, the darker the color of the sand would be. Once the salt is the color you want, you can pour it into a bowl. These are some sands we made earlier, and we're gonna show you how to pour it. First, you'll need a recycled water bottle. It can be glass or plastic. Next, you'll need a funnel. You put the funnel on the top of the water bottle so you can pour the sand into the funnel and it comes into the water bottle. Now, you're gonna need some small cups to scoop the sand up. Need about a half of these little cups. You can choose whatever color you want. You can do it in a pattern or you can make it random. My turn. Now I'm adding blue. I'm gonna add a little bit more blue because I want it to make a whole layer. Now I'm gonna put some green in. Last but not least, some pink. I'll fill about half a cup of it. I'm adding a little bit more so it looks better. Now I'm gonna tilt it to make it even. You just keep on layering the colors you want. And then at the end, you'll have a colorful sand masterpiece. There we go. We'll just shake it a little bit to make it a little even. Can we add a little bit more orange? Yeah. Why don't we add some pink? Okay. This is about to be full. Now you need to put the cap on. And that's how you make our masterpiece of sand art. How to make a fire breathing dragon. This is my fire breathing dragon. I named him Flame. Let me show you how to make one so you can play too. The first step into making a fire breathing dragon is to get an empty toilet paper roll. After you've gotten that, you get some construction paper and you wrap it around like this, any color you want. And then you get a little tape and tape it. Then add the flames. You get some ribbons of your choice and you tape them to the inside of your dragon. Here's a tip. If you want your dragon to blow out more fire, stick more to the top than to the bottom. You can use anything you want, including ribbons, yarn, other types of streamers. Put them in any way you want. You can put some in the bottom, put some on the top. You can change the color. You can cut some paper out. You can really do anything you want with this dragon. I'm gonna put different colors of streamers in and make it look cool. <laughs> After this, you can decorate it any way you want. Here are some I made earlier. You can add glitter or any kind of decoration. Then you can add a face. I'm gonna put some pom-poms that are blue and green. I'm gonna put some googly eyes on them. Remember, you can do anything you want with this.
You can attach them with glue, which is probably better for the pom-poms. Sometimes it's easier to put the glue on the toilet paper roll than putting the glue on the pom-poms. Then you need to add two little things for his nose. You can use beads, coffee beans, smaller pom-poms, or buttons, or whatever you want. And I'm gonna put some glue on the bead first. Wait for the glue to dry. And that's how you make your fire-breathing dragon. Dragon, dragon, I want your jewels. No way, mister! Go away! No, no, no! Well, well then, can you at least touch my marshmallow? Sure, if that's what you want. Thank you. Mm, yummy. Would you like a bite? Sure. It's so yummy. Yes, it is. I love marshmallows, but I love my jewels more. But you can have the rest. Thank you. Rom, nom, 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 nom. How to make a Halloween bat. Boo! <laughs> I'm so excited to go trick-or-treating. Me too. Mama, Mama, I want to go trick-or-treating. I'm not sure. Yeah, but the moon is out. It's and full. the ghosts are out. Oh. It's the perfect Halloween day. OK, well, only because it's Halloween. Woo Let's go. Wee. We made our own Halloween bats. We're going to show you how to make one so you can play too. Here's how you make a Halloween bat. First, you need toilet paper tubes. Then you'll need some paper of any color. You want the paper to be about the size of your toilet paper tubes. You're gonna wrap the paper around the toilet paper tube. Then you're gonna tape the edges of the paper together so it will stay wrapped around. Then you're gonna draw on your face. I'm gonna draw eyes, fangs, and a mouth. I'm gonna draw eyes and just fangs. There, I made the face for the bat. Don't put your face too close to the top because you're gonna need space for the ears. The next step is to add your wings. You're gonna need another piece of paper. Then, you're gonna kind of make a fan. You're gonna fold on one side and then fold on the other. And then just keep doing that. Just keep folding back and forth until you get a fan. Once you have your fan, it will look like this. There, I made one. Then you fold your fan in half. Then you're gonna take the inside of the wing together. There, I have a wing. So do I. Then your wings get taped onto your bag. Then you add another wing to the other side. These bats might be really good for a Halloween party. I made my other wing. I got my other wing on and it's balancing. One last step, the ears. Just press down the middle of your toilet paper tube. That's the best part about Halloween. You just make stuff up. And that's how you make a Halloween bat. Make a small city for our action figures. Pow! Whoosh! Pow! Whoosh! Bang! The things you need to build a hero city are tissue boxes, construction paper, markers, and tape. Tissue boxes. The tissue boxes will be our buildings. Construction paper. Draw the buildings on the construction paper. Hmm, what should we draw? I'm making an ice cream parlor. I'm drawing a school. I'm making a tape loop. To make a tape loop, you have to take the unsticky part and put it on the sticky part. Ta-da! Assemble the building. Take the construction paper on the tissue box. Press the paper onto the tissue box. Let's draw all our different buildings. 
skyscraper, fire station, bank, an apartment building, post office, pizza parlor. Now you have your buildings. <laughs> Hero City, here we come. Time to play. Someone's eating all the ice cream. Help! How? Whoosh! How? We'll save all the ice cream in Hero City. Yes, we saved the ice cream. It's time to sneak into the bank. No one's Not so fast! <laughs> oh no, the villain. We have to protect everyone. I'm on a mission. Let's go. Bing, bing, wee, bing, bing, wee, bing, bing, wee. Let's hop in the car. Let's go. Up, up, and away. Pow, bang, crash, bam. Here we go. Time to fly. Hero City. Hero City is safe again. Until tomorrow. <laughs> How to make your own city. Vroom. We met our own city today. We're playing with cars and roads. We're going to show you how to do it so you can play too. Beep, beep, beep. The first thing that you need to make your own city is masking tape. Let's get building. You can make your roads to go up furniture so you can make a hill. We use crayons to draw lines down the tape like a road. I'm gonna put roads inside the town square so you can go anywhere you want without having to go around it. After that, we're gonna add some trees. We made the trunk with paper towel roll and we made the leaves with tissue paper. And then we added some buildings. We drew the buildings on some construction paper. I'm gonna put the post office right over where the school is. You can use blue construction paper to make a lake. I added a school because I thought it would be really cool to drive a school bus. I like this road through the forest. It's so pretty to drive through the trees. Beep, beep. Traffic. This, this is, is our city! city.